The most important thing to have for this class is your daybook. This will be your notebook and textbook for this class. You will put everything in your daybook. Daily writing, vocabulary lists, reading summaries, class notes, I mean everything. I like to have it all in one place so that no matter when we talk about something in class, you will always have it to refer back to later. There are two very important things to remember about your daybook. Number one, do not skip any pages. Always write on your next blank page so that you're not looking all over your book for where you wrote something. And number two, just like any other textbook, do not tear out a page for any reason. I repeat, never tear out a page. If you tear out one page, another one will fall out too because of the way that the book is assembled. Your teacher may want to pause here and add a little bit more about this tearing out pages part. Okay, now let's begin setting up our daybooks. The first step in setting up your daybook is getting yourself a composition notebook. I ask that you use this type of notebook because it's small enough that you can carry it around most places so that you'll be able to write more often. Um, it also is a hard-backed book, so you might not, if, you, if you're somewhere that you want to write and you don't have a desk necessarily, you can sit down. You can just write on this, um, write on your lap, because it is a hardcover book. Um, also, as I said before, the pages in here are sewn together, so it's very unlikely that you'll a page will fall out or rip out. Um, it's just a lot more secure for all of your writing. So once you have this kind of book, you're ready to start setup. If you don't have a book like this, just let me know. I have some extras that I'll be happy um, to give to you. Um, now that you have your composition notebook, we're ready to set up. Your first step is to write on the very, turn to the very first page and write your name. This book belongs to, and put your name. Um, you can come back to this page later and decorate it with drawings or stickers, whatever you want to do. Um, this is kind of just your fun page. That's all we're going to put on there. For Then I need you to turn the page. On the top of the second page, you're going to head this table of contents. Okay, now um, continue numbering these next few pages right on the backs of the pages as well. Okay, so you've got A. Now go to the next page is going to be page B. C. Turn again. D. E. Turn again. F. Stop at F. And then your next page is going to be number one. And you can probably guess from there, we're just going to go on, okay? So one, and you'll go clear up to the end of your book, and it'll get you to like 190 something. Um, so we're going to stop at one right now. We'll finish numbering our book later when we have some free time, okay? Um, I do want to go back and look at the table of contents section. I'm going to explain why you just set up this table of contents page a little bit more. What happens with this section? What do you do with it? Well. Um, whenever you write something in your day book, you're going to want to give it a title and then um, go to your table of contents, write the page number where you just put that information and put the title of it. Then later you can go back and you'll know where you took those notes or where you wrote that story um, and you'll be able to find it later, okay? As I said before,
before, I'll give you some handouts that will that you're going to be gluing into your daybook on a page. So when you do that, you will go back to your table of contents, write the page where you glued it and the title, so you can find that handout or those notes later. Um, sometimes I'm going to give you handouts that you need to do. You, it's like a homework sheet. You need to do it and then turn it back into me. Or I might give you a note sheet that is a double-sided sheet. So it's, you want that information, you want to be able to refer back to it later, but you don't want to glue it into your daybook because then you can't read the side that you just put the glue on. So what we're going to do for things like that, those loose sheets that we want to keep and we don't want to fall out of our daybook, we're going to turn to the very back of our daybook. We're going to glue a big envelope on the back cover, okay? And then we have a little pocket there to put stuff in. So just take a plain envelope. Um, open it up, and you're going to want to keep the pocket on this side, flip it over, put glue all over like the outside of the envelope where you would write the address. And put it on the top as well, all over that envelope, and then just stick it right in the back of your day book. I like to put mine so that the pocket, so I'm going to be sticking things in it this way so that nothing will fall out if I'm holding my day book like this or something, okay? Um, it'll stay in there. So now I've got it glued in. I can take any handouts that are coming back that I'm gonna have to give back to the teacher later if I'm writing something there, but I'm gonna turn in later, stick those in there, or anything like I said before that's a double-sided sheet that I'm gonna need to refer back to, I can stick it right in my day book won't get lost that way. Okay, um, so now that's all we have for daybook setup. You are good to go, ready to set up. Now, what goes into the daybook? Well, anything that makes you a better reader and a better writer. For right now, we're going to leave it